Called players down from the high ground. Now look, they kind of force Philadelphia down. They're going to go set up their own shield around the corner here. This also allows Jake to get in position as Junkrat to put down some damage. This will get Rez right back up though. So uh, not a big first pick. That's oh, a big one though. As Jake takes out EQI. Yeah, EQI, no idea what hit him in. Then cool Matt follows up. Find Sato on that low ground with the micro rockets. It looks like the Outlaws have come to play. Very crisp, clean execution. And you'll notice that Lynx's early setup there, Matt, was just to protect his backline. He wasn't trying to find Carpe at all. They didn't need to. Carpe, sure, he can get kills, but the rest of his team are long gone. And with how important this match is, it, it almost feels like a playoff match. You know, uh, like baseball gets lit up by that turret, but uh, this looks like, for the time being, the Philadelphia Fusion should be able to hold on here, Mitch. Sato use a Primal Rage, start knocking players back. That's going to be a double pulse bomb from EQO. So that will have the remaining members of the Houston Outlaws backing out here. I wonder, so do, do you switch off the Torb? Yes, uh, you do. You were close to more. Also, Pop Season response, so both Widows have all the information that they need. It's about capitalizing on it. You can see Lynx is trying to find Carpe, where he's more interested in dealing with tanks and the like. Jake's down to a self-destruct that could be resurrected here, but the Riptide might punish again. Moomer's down, and the Outlaws never got to the payload again. Raren, Hotback can't really do too much about that one. Doesn't quite get desuited though. He gets away to healing quickly, and Batty's down to a pulse bomb. That's not a good start to the fight. Rourke has been removed by EQO as he drops in. Was Sado with the average extra damage to finish. Matt, this could be over here. Uh, and Bonnie had Valkyrie as well, so you don't have a use of that Mercy Ultimate. Now you're gonna have some ultimates to work with if you're the fusion, right? Open area, same thing with EMP, right? So they'll use it right oh here. They're gonna try and just push in, pick up a few more kills. Oh, the double flank could come with a Winston. This is so nasty. The outlaws are getting punished for not being ready for the EMP. Now, the EMP not being used here to sort of win the fight necessarily. Uh, to win the round, should I say? The payload's a long way away, but the fusion still jump in on the outlaws. And Bleed and Jake needs to keep this alive and deliver it to its intended target. He gets Carpe. That's the start of it here for the Outlaws. Now they try and mount a defense. They might be able to force back the fusion here. The Dragons try cutting through. No one really affected by that. Inkuo going down. He's definitely going to make things hard for the fusion to fight on here. Yet they res. Yet they commit a resurrect to this fight. They lost Boombox. Oh, Sato. He pushed the payload across the line. The Outlaws didn't realize he was there or weren't able to. Uh, what do they really have to plow you through with damage on the point? Be Carpe with a headshot on Bonnie, and now Jake falls. So this is another fight. This, this is like, like dangerous to the outlaws. They'll get a teammate here on a Hoppa. So Hoppa will Pretty not use better. the self destruct to get back in one. But I know you, you keep losing these fights if you're the Houston. You allow Neptuno to get closer towards Valkyrie, but it's really EQO getting these rip tires. Now you're kind of forced into a position where you can't draw them onto the point and EMP because once you do, EQL will just use self-destruct as well. No other Widows play these kind of positions, by the way. Like, Carpe is on the front line in many of these engagements. Oh, there it is! A big 3k for Cool Man. They needed that one so badly, the Outlaws. They can get a resurrect on one of those kills, but it's not going to be enough. Sometimes, just put your faith in Cool Man. Definitely wants to keep his eye on the ground as well, to a degree. So we'll see where Carpe might be. Oh, the big stick there on the uh, mini You take those in these cases. Get rid of Hotbar. And now the Outlaws are set up on the point. It's looking good. Carpe walks out, immediately gets domed. And now Cormac's going to stand in his way and make it very, very hard for him to interact with the point. Self destruct. Cormac isn't, isn't even de necked by that rip tire. So he didn't have to go for it there. He will almost have it. It's going to be Hotbar discorded down. Knocked out of the suit there. So close. 93% here. EQI will dash around and try and stall a little bit on Tracer, but that's surely going to be it now. Force back. Neptuna will have to run. And the snowball percent ult charge at Coalescence is just around the corner for him. The Carpe being pressured down heavily by Cool Matt. Raucus finds that early pick. Carpe's shields are finally down. And that's Cool Matt de suited, but there's a rip tie here which could hurt. Uh, if you do get hot buff de suited, that'll be a kill from EQO though, as Boombox with two kills oh, for the man. Coalescence. Two big kills. It'll be a rip tire that comes through from Jake. Oh, it's That'll not be enough! out of the air by EQO. Lynx has really come alive as Widowmaker as well. Just dominated, <laughs> That's just a dominated race. the battle. This should get res right up, though. See the rip tire from Jake. Maybe you oh. don't need to use the res. Hey, just trade it for two kills. Yeah. You're happy with that. Boombox is brought back, but Carpe still is missing. There's really not much the Fusion can do with this particular composition now. They're missing a lot of key players. There is a Transcendence here, but if you see him use it here, you definitely don't feel good about it. Jake now also back in the fight. Sato getting headshot to death by Lynxa. Man, he's really starting to kick it up a notch oh, yeah. this map, man. Uh, 14, 14 final blows. Who's he looking for here? Looks like he wants to go for Raucus, who has a Transcendence. So force that out. 
that wind condition being fulfilled here for the fusion, but they've lost Boombox, which was their transcendent. So now they don't have the healing. Self-destruct on the point. Hotbat just gets taken down immediately here. And the Philadelphia Fusion come up with very little here. Nothing on point B of Horizon. And the Philadelphia Fusion just trying to uh, play nice. far away from each other. This nice angle. Nice defense matrix there from Format, though. He may have actually gotten picked off there early if he wasn't aware of that. And there it is. Link's uh, fires up when his team needs him to. Something we, we mentioned on map one, which didn't happen. This time he gets a quick double kill. Boombox was brought back to life. The Fusion just stole this out to 99. And then they could set up. Get rid of the retake. The Outlaws at least have a shot in this round. Match not over yet. But the Philadelphia Fusion are going to come back in. Transcendences will be matched in this next point now. They really just have to kind of lay their hand bare and, and try and go for it. Self-destruct, though, finds EQO already in the fight. And Sato being down, there's no Resurrect here. The Outlaws have done such a good job of coming back in this round. And now the Fusion can't even get a look in. Completely bringing the Fusion to a screaming halt. In terms of average energy, uh, Spree sitting at 60%. You have Hotbat. Oh, that's a huge shadow match. The least five people got knocked down by that one. That's so filthy. Can you grab that? Oh, you're trying to get in their heads now. You're playing games, boy. On the side here, Defic Pressure. Sato down, the shield drop. Oh, that's another big shadow from Moomer. He's really starting to turn up now. But Batty went down. In the early stages of that fight, and the sound barrier for the Philadelphia Fusion, EQOs has his stripped away from him, but the extra durability definitely makes the difference. Philly. Burden down. Carpe having switched over from the McCree to the Zaya. It's approaching his first grab. He builds this grab. Starting to get some damage in there, or to get a pick off, but it doesn't work. He overextends to try and set up the combo, and it doesn't work out for him. Moomin now being cut <laughs> down to Philadelphia Fusion, looking like they might be kings of this castle. Dude, Neptuno's just been kind of dancing around the point for so long. This will be another Graviton Surge that comes down from Spree. And it's going to be the Philadelphia Fusion hitting 99. Carpe comes back into the fight on Tracer. Takes out three players here. He might not even get a touch of the point. He didn't Whoa. get there. Down by Boombox. The plan was to primal. Spree just falls into the pit there. I'm not sure if that was intended or not. But Moom is back into the fight and he opens it with a bang. Boombox is down. And now it jumps in with that primal rage. Carpe really would like to ignore the Winston, but I think Moom is going to make that pretty hard at this point. Grapples up to safety. Moom doesn't have another knockback. He's out of primal rage form and Carpe's been pocketed, so we can't find the finish. But there, Lixa fights Carpe, picks him up. 92%. And you have to use a lot of these ults here if you're the Philadelphia Fusion. This Vaymer event will be the last fight as Boombox uses the Transcendence. Comes a little bit too late. You're not going to get any healing on the hot fight. It'll be Spree now with his Rocket Barrage. They needed that, Matt. It's all over. The Houston Outlaws get it done in Map 3. So you will have the Vision here as Carpe will use the for some cool man in the back lines. He's able to take out Neptuno. Is that fight still going down on the payload here? They're, they're, as soon as that second kill comes down, they invest the transcendence into this. Yes, it's interesting. Instead of peeling back for his backline, Matt, Sato in, instead tries to dive Houston's backline. The problem is that I think you can see. He knows. The cup is on the uh, other side. And again, maybe it's less remarkable with the infrasight, but uh, you won't catch any Outlaws fans saying that's very clean from Lynx and Al. Fighting another one with EQO, and the Philadelphia Fusion have just not been a factor in this game, Matt. It's been very average for them, and the Outlaws are starting to ride the momentum. Some of these shots, we can take a look from Carpe's POV. No, the Transcendence, by the way. <laughs> and, and with Widowmaker, like, you never feel great about playing Widowmaker in these close quarter areas. You really just want a lot of space. That's what you a little bit for their backline. Meanwhile, the Juno and EQO were able to push forward a little bit more, but they can't keep hot by standing. And Carpe gets taken out by Lynx again again. The Widow Duel is shifting in the favor of the Finn. They're going to set up this rally and try and come out of the spawn. Boombox will also go to Moira, so providing a ton of healing. Well, won't provide much. Gets hit You're there done. with a self-destruct. You're done! A minute and 53 in the time bank. So if these teams have been banking ultimates now, as the payload's not really being a thing. They've not really been trying to move forward all that much. EQO, is he going to get caught here? No, he's been pocketed nicely by Neptuno, and now back over the top. We do need to see Moomin try and get away. That might have been what provoked his transcendence now from Raucus as they pressure forward. You can see Cormac very deep there. Looking for the removal on Sato, and he gets a great response from the Outlaws there. From the payload, but Link's been brought back into the fight himself. Self-destruct, Sato tries to put the bubble over the top of it. It works. Philly aren't blown up just yet. They are getting some progress. The Carpe's down. Iku is missing. The DPSs are gone for the Philly Fusion. They need them so badly, but they're not a thing. And now Boombox is going to get chased out. Not the way he wanted it to end, but he doesn't have a choice. Boomer, ka-chow, he says. Chases him into the server room, and he's done. And so the Philly Fusion. The Houston Outlaws take the victory. They go 
to six and three in the stage. The King of Playoff hopes alive, man. Muma with a sick game that ended up. Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info. We've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.